Hi, my name is Jesse Emmett. Uh, this is my 56 Chevy Cameo pickup. Uh, I have had it since I was 15 years old. Me and my wife have, have been married, uh, shoot, for 13 years. And it has us in pictures when we were in high school together. But my dad bought this truck when I was 15 years old. He got it from my uncle. It was a step, step side. He gave him two cows and $1,000. And uh, my dad was a big truck uh, collector. So he had about at one time over 20, 55 through 59 Chevy pickups in his in his bat, in our backyard when I was growing up. As you can see, it is a pearl blue. It's a very one-off color. One thing we did, we molded everything off. The mirrors are, are molded off. The original molding on the front fender and on the hood are molded off. We molded off the rain gutter or, or the drip rail around the top. It makes it real clean. We wanted it sleek and smooth. Uh, my builder was Rob Fagungus out of Fresno, California. Uh, his shop is called uh, Custom Concepts. He did an awesome, awesome job on this project and uh, we're very excited about it. We, uh, we took the upholstery to Gabe's upholstery out of San Bernardino. Gabe's did a, a great job, him and his son, tried to do something a little bit different. And so we went with this burgundy reddish color. I like to call it Italian nipple. You know, I couldn't, now going back, I couldn't imagine taking to anyone else. So the shot wheels in the back, we have 20 inches tall by 14 inches wide. They're offset dead center seven and seven. So they're especially one of the kind made by shot wheels. Uh, we went with a 18 inch on the front. It gives it a cool little rake. It just gives it a little bit of, of attitude. The 632 is a blueprint motor. Uh, out of no North Carolina. It's a crate motor. I had to know what, how I could fit it into the in the truck first. So it actually sat for about four years before we actually fired it. Uh, runs great. Um, it's dyno to 803 horse. It's 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 very fun. Uh, it, it is right now. We just drove it a little bit. We're getting all everything out of it, but it is so responsive. 800 horse is by far the most I've ever had underneath my foot at one time. Um, as a car guy, everybody loves speed, power, uh, ho more horsepower. You know, it's going to take me a little bit to get, get adjusted to it, that is for sure. But it is so responsive, you hit that pedal and you are, you're there like that. I took my original frame and I started off with the uh, TCI chassis and I put the uh, blueprint motor onto it with the, the bow tie uh, transmission and then took my cab and cameo bed and moved it from my original frame over to this chassis uh, to make the ride smoother and, and, and better handling. The chassis is such a nice chassis. I wanted to make sure that we put the detail into that and painting it because it was so straight and it was so good that when people see it, they, they really truly respect, hey, these guys didn't you know, half-ass it per se. They went ahead and, and did the detail all the way through from the chassis up. I'm so excited about this show. This was a great show to go. The good guys did such a good job. You know, they came up to us. Uh, we we entered the top 10 today. Uh, they came back and nominated us for the uh, nominee of truck of the year. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the award. Uh, they said that I, I'm, a, I'm one of seven finalists so that we we're going to go for the good guys truck of the year it is they said one of the highest awards that you could have got at this this show so it is very awesome we're super excited it makes all the hard work all the time you forget it all you're like let's go get it we're just super excited my family was excited we're calling everybody it's like christmas hey look what i got i mean it is just we're just jumping for joy we're very excited that we got it you know, I'm not sure if I'm done building it. You're always kind of adding on and stuff, but you know, I'm very proud of, of what it's, it's come to.